Hi, and welcome back to Wondershare Recover It. Are you a Windows user who's fed up with that annoying free up your disk space message appearing again and again despite deleting your data? Is something hidden in your system occupying the whole space or is there an invisible partition of your hard drive suffocating your system? Let's find out. Don't worry because we're here to resolve your storage issues so you can breathe a sigh of relief. In this video, we'll cover four ways to keep your system free from low disk space errors. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Firstly, we need to work out what the underlying reason is behind your hard drive storage issue. There's a few different things it could be, including installed software, duplicate files, system files, and temporary files, unused apps on your system that you haven't used for a while and you might have forgotten about, duplicate files from a previous Windows operating system that your system is preserving for no reason, or a collection of downloaded files that you've since copied elsewhere that need to be deleted. All of this can be a burden on your disk drive and it can cause that annoying error that keeps appearing on the screen. So let's run through ways to get rid of that error. Let's start with the good news. Windows 10 and Windows 11 include some really helpful tools to free up disk space. These specifically designed tools like Storage Sense help users to get rid of unused apps, temporary files, cookies, and more. There's many ways to perform a Windows 10 disk cleanup on your system, so let's explore them now. The most basic approach is to run a disk cleanup. It's a built-in tool in Windows that you can utilize to clean up your computer via Windows File Explorer. All you need to do is open the Windows File Explorer and navigate to this PC. Right click on C Drive and choose Properties. In the pop-up menu that appears, click on Details. Here you can see what's occupying space on your drive. Click into each menu and choose which files you wish to delete to recover space. You may find a folder named Windows Installation Files. Deleting these files can free up a lot of space on your C drive. Another thing you can do to free up some disk space is to uninstall programs that you don't need anymore. These programs might have been outdated or you might just not use them anymore, but regardless of the reason, they're eating away your disk space. To uninstall them, the first thing you need to do is to open the control panel and click on Programs and Features. From here, you can just right click on any program you wish to remove and click on Uninstall. Then just follow the on-screen prompts to remove the program from your device. You can also repeat this method for a number of different programs that you need to remove because they're not of any use anymore. Another great way to free up space is by deleting temporary files. There's files that your computer saves that do nothing. Yep, it's true, there's files you don't need but Windows saves them anyway. And there could also be duplicate files occupying space too. In the latest version of Windows, there's a feature called Storage Sense. It automatically removes duplicate files, temporary files, and other unnecessary data stored in the system by default. To utilize this feature, you need to turn it on from the settings. Firstly, open your Windows settings by pressing the Windows key and I, choose System and then click on Storage. Now, find the Temporary Files tab and click on it. Here, you can find your temporary files in various folders called Temporary Files, Recycle Bin, Downloads and more. What you need to do now is select the folders you wish to delete and click on Remove. Storage Sense allows you to automate this procedure. To do this, go back to the Storage menu and click into Storage Sense. Here, you'll find a whole list of options to set up auto cleanup. Select a time frame and categories to automate the whole cleanup process and make your life easier. Next, it's important to regularly empty your recycling bin. You can empty the recycling bin by diving into the temporary files folder as I just mentioned, but there's also a way to do it manually. To do this, the first thing you need to do is open up your recycling bin, which is usually on your desktop. Now, right click on the file you wish to remove and choose delete. If you want to delete multiple files at once, simply hold control while selecting them. Or you can click the empty recycle bin button at the top to delete all the files at once. 
If you find a file that was accidentally deleted, you can choose Restore to place it back where it was deleted from. Or if you'd like to restore all the files in the recycling bin, all you need to do is press the Restore All Items button from the top menu. And that's all you need to do to free up some disk space. Now you're fully equipped to eliminate that low disk space error on your system and get more storage on your PC. Using those four techniques, you'll free up disk space significantly and keep it that way with tools like Storage Sense. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so our videos can help you solve your everyday internet and technology issues. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like to see covered in a future video. Stay tuned to your one-stop shop for all your Windows system issues, software and digital information.